which we got to get into is another five minute uh, post game on from the post game pints uh, crew, Sean Campbell, Mitch Gallo. So oh, let's get going. And we are off. Habs lose a game to five one to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mitch, what's the biggest thing to take out of this hockey game? Biggest thing to take out of the hockey game, Sean, is uh, the Canadians did not play as well as they played in game one. And the biggest uh, thing that went wrong for the Canadians is in the second period, they were assessed too many penalties, which completely disrupted their flow, led to a power play goal for the Maple Leafs and put them in the driver's seat to play the type of third period that they wanted. The biggest thing was the second period and taking too many penalties, simply put. Yeah, and those too many penalties, uh, I, I really felt disrupted some good games from uh, the Canadians in the first period. Some good start to games, because at the end, I didn't find they played good games. I liked the first period from Jesperi Kaki. I mean, I liked the first period from Brendan Gallagher. I liked it again from Eric Stahl. I thought he was skating, forechecking well, and just moving the puck. He didn't have the uh, setup like he did in game one, but the first period was solid. Uh, and, and, and the list goes on. And then those guys just sit on the bench for four straight penalties in the second period. I think that that's the storyline because in the third, you're just chasing a game that you just weren't going to get to. You didn't get another power play. You didn't generate another power play uh, for the Canadians. So uh, I really think that that was a big factor for the Habs. Uh, there was, a, Mitch, there was a, a challenge from the Canadians, and I think a lot of people found it puzzling. Um, and I'm one of those people. I still find it puzzling. And... Mm -hmm. You know, who knows what's going to happen. Maybe over the course of the next few days, we get some kind of video evidence or a different replay or a different angle or something zoomed in where we see why uh, the Canadians ended up challenging that play. Right right now, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why. But I guess at that point in the game, uh, the score is 3-1 uh, for the Maple Leafs. And you are looking at either making it back to 2-1 or taking a minor penalty. So you just see a slight, slight chance that maybe it gets called back. It's worth taking the risk because you think at 3-1, you know your team has trouble scoring and maybe it's going to be really tough to get back in the game. So that's why, even though it's a long shot, you're just kind of throwing a flag out there and hoping it lands. Yeah, but I think that happens more in the third period uh, of a hockey game. And last five, ten minutes, like that risk at that time for that percentage play – I mean, and, and I've said this, Mitch, I do not want to live in an NHL where that's not a goal. I, I just don't. I, I, I'm on the side of more goals. And if that's the kind of thing that's going to get called back. And again, I still over the, like you said, asking for a new replay. But even then, did he impede him from making a save? And if he did, if he felt the stick on his stick or on his glove or on, a, or, uh, on his blocker, then he would have looked at the referee after. Carey Price is a very smart goaltender that way. He did none of that. Uh, and I know he kept his mouth shut after the game, but at the same time, uh, it's it's not the same. All right, uh, Mitch, just a couple other players I want to get to. Uh, we're at the two-minute warning here on the uh, five-minute postgame of the Postgame Pints uh, podcast, Campbell and Gallo. Uh, just very quickly, they need some offense from Nick Suzuki. Uh, they need some offense from Brendan Gallagher. Uh, they, these guys didn't bring anything tonight. Yeah. Offensively. Uh, those two guys for sure. I'll add Thomas Tatara to the list of okay. the players that they Please. need offense from. Please I thought do. he had, I, I thought he had a pretty good look and fired wide. I thought Gallagher had two looks at the net. Uh, also on both of them, uh, missed the net. So yeah, I'm with you. Uh, it, it's time now where they have a couple players who haven't been producing offensively. And the Canadians were only able to score two goals in game one and one goal in game number two. If they're not careful, this is going to be a series that reminds them of the Rangers Canadian series from 2015, where they weren't able to score enough goals for Carey Price. This Price has been good through two games. Now he's going to need some run support. All right. Uh, we got 45 seconds here left on the clock. Uh, just very quickly, lineup changes. You, you bring Cole Caulfield. I think he has more of a chance to get in than Alexander Romanov. I agree with you, but I still think uh, Caulfield waits at least uh, one more game before uh, getting into the lineup. I think um, you played well in game one and one game two got away from you, not because of the roster, but because of the penalties. So you're going to wait one more game, see how it goes with the first one on home ice before maybe responding with Caulfield in game four. Yeah, if Evans is out, I might bring him in for Lekin because you don't have that Evans line. Uh, but if Evans is good to go, is Kakademi out? He scored the goal, Mitch. 
Yeah, decisions have to be made. They're very tough. I would say Evans gets back in. That's that's the lineup that won you game one. That's it for us. Uh, that is the five minute post game from the post game pints crew. Now it's time for my LeBras beer. Enjoy.